guys, Joe Wanna coming into another battle replay here on Rome 2. We have a 3v3 siege. Actually, it's a port assault on Brudunzium. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We'll start off here with one of the attacking armies here, RDI, being commanded by Chigger. Chigger is bringing with him, check this, 15 units of Illyrian Marines, one of those being his general. That's probably one of the most disgusting armies I've ever seen. It really is. Like, Illyrian Marines, if you guys don't know what they are, they are basically Thoreo Spears, and that's disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Uh, he is also bringing with him four units of the Slave Slingers. He's got a Greek Onager, and like I said, his general is a unit of the Illyrian Marines as well. Then we will move over here onto land. We'll get into the Seleucid army who's being commanded by Rogue Centurion. He is bringing with him eight units of Thorax Swordsmen, three Royal Peltasts, one Levy Pikeman, one regular Pikeman, four units of Syrian Archers. He's got an Armored Elephants, the Syrian Armored Elephants. Ooh, man. And he also has a unit. His general there is a unit of the Hellenic Cataphracts. I know you guys can see this right here. I'll get to that. And we move on over here to the final attacking ally. We have Egypt, who's being commanded by Jacob Cutting 91, or 91. He is bringing with him five units of Thorax Swordsmen, five Galatian Royal Guard, two units of Egyptian Pikemen, four Nubian Bowmen. He has two units of Egyptian Cavalry, one on either flank of his tower setup. He is also bringing with him a giant Ballista, and his general there is a unit of Ptolemaic Cavalry. Now... To get into this, obviously we see Masesali is here. Masesali has Vanguard Medium Shock Cavalry. If you guys did not know that, yeah, they cause problems. They cause problems. They can burn through units pretty quickly. As I said, they are Medium Shock Cavalry, but I'll come back out to the rest of the army here. We have Masesali, like I said, being commanded by Laminated Salmon. He is bringing with him seven units of the Desert Legionnaires, four Desert Cohort, four units of Heavy Skirmishers, three Numidian Riders, which are the ones that are out front there, as you can see when my cursor is hovering over there, right there. And then he has two units of the Numidian Noble Infantry, one of those being his general. Moving into the second defending army, we do have Athens. Athens is being commanded by Varasar II. He is bringing with him seven units of regular hoplites, four units of picked hoplites, one of those being his general. He does also have two units of, of the mercenary veteran hoplites, two pikemen, four units of archers, and he does actually have a unit of Hippias lancers way back over here. That could be devastating for the attackers. That really could. If he keeps them back here and hides them for long enough and uses them at the right time, tons of kills i've seen hippias lancer units get like four or five hundred kills so then we will get into the last defender again we do have another egypt he is being commanded by civ dallas he's bringing with him 10 units of thorax swordsmen two pikemen two units of light cavalry three cretan archers and then he does have a very small fleet very very small three ship fleet here his general there is a unit of egyptian infantry and then he has two what I can only assume is to be two units of throwaway Nubian spearmen. So, all right, 45 minutes, 57 seconds of a battle replay. I'm going to shoot all the way back out over here, and I'm going to get it all cinematic for you guys. So I'm going to get rid of all... Oh, let me hit play, and there we go. Here they go, crashing on down the hill, and they are just going to hammer into these archers. We do have a general that's there, though. This unit, not looking too hot already crashed into lost eight on the charge they're going to stay in there for a little bit and just keep getting some more kills this unit i think he just threw them in there just to try and get as much as he could you can see some of the egyptian cavalry making their way over the tolme cavalry general is making his way both of the egyptian pikes have turned around but somehow this unit is going to get away with 60 men they didn't lose a single man and they're going to swing around and continue to get into the seleucid archers here very big mess. This unit here, fantastic job getting around the elephants. He's going to come across, get into more of the Syrian archers here for Seleucid. Huge charge. Oh my god. Wow. 17 dead on that charge. He's going to peel off, get into this next one. Why not? Keep going. Keep going, but ooh, barreling down. Here they come. Mercenary Syrian armored elephants making their way through. 
They're probably going to shove some of these guys. Yeah, they just knock them out of the way. It doesn't matter. Whatever. But they are going to get into the rest of this Nubidian Rider unit. So they will definitely be gone. Oh, good God. Definitely getting run over. And there they go. They had six men, five, five men remaining. They are going to run for their lives. Let's swing back over here because Sacely, my friends, is not done. This unit of Dominion Riders here, 114 kills, still 39, 38 men in the unit. And look at this, he's going to come around. Is he going to get around? Yes, he is. Wow, he got around that Thorax Swordsman unit. Did not get a Javelin volley off. We do have some Archer Fire, though. Still moving, still moving, still moving. Yep, they're still there. Only 29 left, but they're going to get caught. Okay. So this unit is pretty much going to be gone now. They're caught by both of the... Egyptian Cavalry, we do have a unit of Thorax Swordsmen. No, oh, they're still going. They're get oh my god, they're still getting through into more of these Nubian Bowmen. That's amazing. 160 kills. They're still go no way. They're still here. Seven left. They've gotta die. There they go. Okay. So there's five left there. They are gone. Pretty big damage done by that cavalry sally out. I don't know if Seleucid lost his artillery crew. Looks like he did. I don't see his artillery symbol anywhere. Oh, wait, no, he didn't have an artillery crew. I apologize. Egypt did. All right, let's see what else is going on in the rest of the world. Uh, looks, actually, wait, looks like the general actually, oh, the general dropped, got dropped off at the shore there. So we have these two units of the Nubian spearmen going to make their way out. Did RDI start moving yet? No, his red line is still right here. So he has not started venturing towards the city yet. Now, Real quick, I just want to get over here. Seleucid is going to take the longest route around, at least on land. It's probably going to take RDI a little bit of a while to get to the settlement as well. So, might not be a bad idea for them to start moving here, at least if they want to try and collide with the settlement at the same time that Seleucid will be. Egypt back over here, reforming some of his lines. Actually, we have some artillery fire. 39 kills there so far for the Athens artillery. What is he firing at? Shooting at the Egyptian pikemen. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to try and hit some of this cavalry as well. But the giant ballista crew is back on there. How many survived? Oh, they only lost eight. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Is Egypt going to start pressing up his towers? Not just yet. Seleucid, like I said, does have the longest venture to go. And oh god, Egyptian. Mm. Nubian spearmen. I just see death in their, in their future. I really see a lot of death. 45 men, 45 men taking on all of these units are 90. Except for the Slave Slingers, they are only 60. But everything else here is pretty much 90. Yeah, this is not going to go well. But it should be fun to watch at least. Let's see. This ship is already starting to get pelted by the Javelins from some of the Illyrian Marines. And this, oh, we're about to have a car crash. We're about to have a wreck here. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, oh, bye-bye. Nope, oh, just for good luck. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, yep, they're pretty much dead. This one is still just getting rained upon. He's trying to ram, though. Not bad. Keep trying to get that damage going, but... Yep, that ship is gone. That ship is gone. All right, so the uh, bit of a sally out over there. Wait a second. Just happened to see over here, we have the Hellenic Cataphract General. He is getting shot at by one of the Egyptian artillery. As you can see, he did bring two. We have two units of light cavalry out here. Wow, this battle is kind of just exploding all over the place. This cataphract unit now down two men. And oh no, the light, the light horse is going to turn around and charge into the Hellenic cataphracts. Wow. Hellenic cataphracts lost out on that 76 charge bonus. If you guys notice right there, oh my god, they're still taking volleys. Oh god. This general is not looking good. Look at his morale. In the basement already. Down to 42 men now. I'm going to say the artillery doing some damage, of course. But uh, the main problem with the heavy, super heavy shot cavalry or heavy shot cavalry is they have crap melee defense. There they go. Oh no. Did he... The general is being routed by two units of light cavalry, and he's dead. No way. Oh, Seleucid lost his general already. 
Wow, that's crazy. They did have 79 kills, but... Whoa, Elephant's up to 79 kills as well. Looks like they've routed off both units of the Light Cavalry. Yes, they have. All right, let's swing back around over here. Egypt has moved up all of his towers. He's actually getting his archers up on the ridge here, which is a fantastic opportunity for attackers. As you guys see right down here, there are some infantry here. So these archers will be able to fire down onto these guys. They can actually even try and shoot at the artillery itself. Let's see where they're going. They are going straight for the artillery. None of those hit. Amazing. I love the force field around the artillery here. Always love it. I want to see if they kill anybody. I'll sit here for another volley. Well, flame arrows now. They're going to try and burn the thing now. Amazing. Nope, they gave... Oh, nope, they're still firing. Nope, didn't light it on fire yet. Oh! Oh, that's the... That's the light cavalry that already broke. I thought those archers were dead. <laughs> I thought those archers were going to die. Let's see. Are they still firing? They are. And there they go. Burned it up. Good, 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 good. Good to see there. RDI back over on the other side. He is... Stationary. Interesting. Figured he would want to be... Landing around the same time that Seleucid was getting to the walls. But Seleucid is still moving up his uh, siege towers. Now I do want to say that this is, the units here are only on large, they are not on the ultra size because you would see 160 man units so they would be more walking behind the towers there which would probably be a benefit for the artillery here but it does look like this artillery will be able to get some shots off on RDI once he gets closer, if he gets closer. Hopefully he moves in. Hopefully he doesn't leave Seleucid out to dry. I mean, Seleucid already losing his general. That's huge. That is gigantic. I still can't... I, again, the cat, the cataphracts have really, really bad melee defense. That's why they lost so easily. But to lose your general this early on in a battle is pretty rough. He also did take a decent amount of damage to his archer units as well. Actually, all four of his units of archers got hit. But these two got hit pretty bad. Let's see what we got going up over here. Egypt getting closer and closer to the walls. It's actually bringing a unit down off of this tower. It's only a 52% damage. He could still use it. Absolutely still could use it. These two towers will not be able to land here. Uh, is that the... Yes, it is. Giant Ballista is going to continue firing, and he's going to fire over here. Desert Cohort getting some shots near them, but thankfully for the defenders, none of them actually made contact. Egypt, still moving towers up, still moving towers up. Are the, uh, are the archers... No, they're done. They, they stopped firing. Probably not a bad idea. I mean, they could have tried to get some shots down here onto these uh, hoplites, because when they were on the top of the hill there, they definitely saw them. So they could have tried to take some pot shots at the hoplites, but not a bad idea to just hold off the ammunition to have a better, better aim, better shot. Now let's see what RDI is doing. So Lucid's still moving up. He's actually bringing a tower way over here by itself. He'll have to deal with one unit of Thorax Swordsmen, but Thorax Swordsmen just the same there. We have some Desert Legionnaires climbing up in the walls. More Thorax Swordsmen, Desert Legionnaires, Thorax Swordsmen, and another unit of Desert Legionnaires here for Masasili. So pretty well defense, pretty well defended so far. At least they're getting units up on the walls. RDI, thankfully, is now bringing in his army. This artillery here on the ship could be gigantic. Could be gigantic unless it gets taken out by this ballista. If this, And that's probably why he hasn't fired yet. He more than likely is waiting for the artillery piece to get closer. But you know, he's got a lot of ammo. I'd be taking some shots at these ships here at the Marines because they, they're gross. They're absolutely disgusting. And a full... Pretty much 15-man full army of Illyrian Marines is pretty disgusting. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. But, all right, we do have a tower here landing for Seleucid. Some Thorax swords. We will be climbing up. Going to take on some Desert Legionnaires there. It says the Desert Legionnaires are firing, but it doesn't actually show that they are firing. So here we go. Wall combat has now begun on this side of the settlement. Seleucid should probably keep moving his units up. Might want to get his archers up a little bit closer towards the walls as well. So he can get some shots off at least. Maybe try and get them up over here to get some volleys across. Get some flanking shots in onto these units that are on the walls. Back over on the other side though, Egypt. The attacking Egypt is now landing on the walls. Getting a lot of his thorax swords and probably Galatian Royal Guard as well climbing down over here. 
Well, they're not climbing down yet. They are up on the walls, though. Hopefully, they'll start throwing their javelins down into these hoplites. I'm assuming the defenders... No, they're not. Usually, this round about here on this settlement, or pretty much any settlement, but this settlement specifically, you'd see the archers come up to right about here on this hilltop and just start volleying, uncontrollable volleying into the units that are on the wall here. Because there's only a few different ways to get down. One, two, three, four ways to get down off this wall. So, it's pretty much, uh, I know I'm using somebody else's line here, but it's pretty much shooting fish in a barrel up on the wall here. Uh, there's really no other way to describe that, but it looks like the defenders, are the, at least these archers, are kind of missing out on a pretty big opportunity. Let's swing back around over here. RDI is now in the harbor. He's got the four units of marines there, four units of his slingers. Lucid, unfortunately, losing this combat. Let's take a look. But they're, oh, they're getting shot at. Never mind. That's why they're losing so quickly. 38, 34, 57, 75 going against 47, 35, 48, 80. So at the end of the day, they would have lost the overall battle, but they probably would have been able to kill more than 13 men had it not been for these mercenary Cretan archers there. The RDI is starting to land. Oh, actually, I like this unit right here. This unit right here, fire, 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 fire. Start shooting. Please start shooting. Shoot these guys in the back. Definitely want to get rid of them. Oh, actually, whoa, there's a lot of traps here. Oh, stake traps, pit traps, or something like that. I don't use deployables, so I don't know what they're called. But actually, these archers better start firing, or they better move. Because the slave slingers have zeroed on their position. They're going to start firing at them. The Illyrian marines turning around. Looks like they're just kind of, yeah, they're just hitting the rest of the beach with these first couple of units. Going to just keep trying to get rid of a lot of the... Uh, Stick traps or pit trap, whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. But here we go. Illyrian Marines. Two units of Illyrian Marines going to be facing off against the unit of Thorax Swordsman. And here comes the onslaught of Javelins. Looked like that other unit was trying to get up and around, but apparently you can't go through here. That would have been... Oh yeah, no, you definitely can't go through there. And there's nowhere else to go, dude. I would just go and charge. Just go fight. There's no point unless you're just still trying to look, search the beach for more traps. So another unit of Illyrian Marines there. He's letting all of these other ships shuttle out before he sends in more. Good idea. Seleucid is getting some more units up on the wall. He's actually just knocked down a wall over there with that tortoise, but he has some Thorax Swordsmen there. And actually, they're getting aided. Good team. Hey, see? Teamwork. I love it. Teamwork is fantastic. I love seeing teams work together. Attackers, defenders. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. RDI here helping out his Seleucid ally. Getting some good... Rocks thrown in onto these Thorax Swordsmen, helping them cut down the lines, helping them, helping them get uh, a little bit better in the fight. 92-95 there, but we're about to have another Seleucid unit here. Thorax Swordsmen knock down another wall. Let's get over here, though. Yo, yeah, these guys are going to get wrecked. What was all here? We had archers there, archers here. Oh, actually, archers are volleying in. Oh, God, just wrecking this unit of Thorax Swordsmen absolutely destroying them they have a perfect flank and rear shot at least with this unit there just look at these volleys come down and just oh god murder absolute murder some more desert legionnaires making their way up there for misesley actually misesley's got a unit of his heavy skirmishers there getting some volleys up i don't know oh is there oh no thorax swordsman up there are defending the staircase okay good this unit is getting wrecked as well, down to 83 men, only 21 kills, they've barely seen combat, and they're already down 40 men. What is this? Oh, actually, they're sneaking past. They're getting past this unit of Thorax Swordsmen there for Egypt, so that is actually a bit of a good sign. Seleucid looks like he's just going to try and make his way up and around through the harbor here, which is... Mm, I don't know, I think... I honestly, I would have more units going this way and maybe have a smaller force come around here because this right here is a problem to try and get through. This is very choke pointy right here. Plus, they do still have units up on the wall. We have some Desert Legionnaires there. So, it's going to be pretty rough, but that Thorax Swordsman unit there for Seleucid getting wrecked. Numidian Skirmishers still just having the time of their lives hitting all these guys. Let's swing back over onto the other side, see how this is going. Going to have a difficult time. Going to try and break through these hoplites. Actually, they are just... Wow. Athens is literally just piling hoplites, veteran hoplites, on the wall. Sending up a second unit of mercenary veteran hoplites behind. Just 
putting heavy spears after heavy spears after heavy spears up near these four steps. Did they break the gate? They didn't bring a ram. Oh no. That probably would have been pretty helpful if they brought a ram over here. Or at least had a unit, maybe an Egyptian pikeman, maybe come up and start trying to burn the gates down. Just to give them another avenue to come in. This hoplite unit only lost nine so far, but they, this unit, oh wait, no, this is a second. I didn't see the flag. Down to 100 in this pentoplite unit. This hoplite here with 110. So Galatian Royal Guard, 10 kills, 18, and 104 already. Wow. Back over on this side. Let's see, we have more Galatian Royal Guard, Thorax Swordsmen on this side, taking on some more of the veteran spears. Unit of Hoplites finally starting to waver. 17 kills to their names. Again, where are these archers? They're still holding back really far. He probably could have done a lot of damage to those units that were sent when they were up on the wall there with his archers. But he's going to put a lot of faith in the Athenian spears on this side, so I don't blame him for doing that. Let's swing back around over here. Seleucid does have a unit up on the wall. This unit of Thorax Swordsman is finally starting to break. There's another unit of Thorax Swordsman there. Let's see how RDI is doing, actually. Oh, they're getting close, but we have another unit of Thorax Swordsman just in time. Wow, this unit of Thorax for Egypt just started to waver. Did get this other unit over there, so they're going to be able to continue holding this choke point. Actually, this would be perfect. Again, just my opinions. This would be perfect for this unit of archers to just turn around and start volleying into all these marines. Because they're not going anywhere. And he could easily just start smashing these guys. But not smashing, it's, it's arrows. Or stabbing him with arrows. Uh, piercing? Piercing. Piercing him with arrows. There you go. Piercing them with arrows. That'd be good. I mean, their armor is 65, but he would have been getting some good flanking shots. But nonetheless, RDI is shuttling in more units here, and it does look like Seleucid has pretty much given up on that side attack, and he is going to come in through the walls, being backed, or side by side, I guess, with RDI. But this is going to be difficult, because they're going to be held here for a little while. The defenders really would have to, side of taking care of this unit of Thorax Swordsman there, they could literally put two units right there and hold for a pretty long time I mean, this is Royal Peltas there they are getting their pikemen up as well so anything anything can happen anything anything can happen let's swing back around over on this side we do have some desert cohort now making their way up towards the walls as well some of the Nubian bowmen getting some follies up over the walls starting to get into these hoplites this might break this might break, though. We are losing. The, uh, attacking Egypt just lost a whole unit of Egyptian, of uh, Galatian Royal Guard, I should say. Another unit of Thorax Swordsmen on the way out. This one's actually going to break, too. Not a lot of infantry left already. Wow. It's got some Egyptian pikemen up on the wall, though. Two units of those coming down. I don't think they're going to have time to get down here to set up. What is going on here? Oh, it's Egyptian pikemen already down here. Oh, that's bad. That is not good. This looks like maybe an opportunity, but the Desert Legionnaires, I'm oh, sorry, Desert Cohort, the Four Mesaes, they are going to get in there. So they're going to be, a whole, be able to hold these Galatian Royal Guard for just a little while longer. Thankfully, the attackers were able to uh, neutralize the gate over there, though. Let's shoot back over onto the other side, see what we got. RDI still filtering more units in. Where's his artillery ship? That's something I really... Only nine kills. He's not firing with it. I'd be firing right here, manually firing. If you don't know how to manually fire, hit that insert. Uh, oh, never mind. Yeah, Illyrian Marines. Here we go. Javelin party. Numbers are dropping pretty quickly, down to 88 men. But they do still have this other unit there, 97. So they'll at least have something to place over there. Um, also, on Port Assault, I'm not entirely sure, but I think this is the town center. I'm seeing a lot of units over here for Egypt, though. So, maybe this is the town center. He's actually shuttling a lot of units back. He had more units over here at the beginning. Uh, Thorax Swordsman going to try and get a good Javelin Volley off. Killed one. Just watch one guy drop there, but yeah, these guys are just going to die. He's probably just going to try and get out there. And Oh my god, is that Slingers firing as well? No. Oh, it was the back line of the, uh, the, I almost called them 3 spears. It's pretty much what they are. 
but oh, what a rip there. Oh my god. Another show just over the top. These Illyrian Marines should start moving. Press forward. Oh, they can't. They're all caught. They're all caught. Good job there, Egypt. Very good, but oh no, elephants. Oh god, the elephants are inside. Mercenary Syrian archers. Uh, mercenary Syrian archers. Mercenary Syrian armored elephants inside the settlement. Starting to stomp all over these desert legionnaires. Getting into the Numidian uh, skirmishes as well. Ooh, but they are going to make their way back out of the settlement. That is... Not, uh, probably not, oh wow, wow, that was fast. They came back under control very quickly. Very quickly, I've never seen an elephant unit come back that fast, but yeah, they're just going to continue stomping, getting rid of a skirmish unit there. Told me a cavalry general's now making his way around. Legionnaires starting to waver, and the elephants are on the move. 285 kills, here they come. I don't think they're really needed over here just yet. I'd turn them around, just keep smashing these guys. Just try and get rid of them. Actually, probably not a bad idea to get rid of them, to get away. He's actually getting over here to these Cretan archers. Only seven kills. No! Uh, well, they're dead. <laughs> they are dead. Look at all those guys just got stumped. Some of them are going to get back up. Or maybe not, down to 25. Wow. Crushed. 347 kills. And this is now pretty much open. Lyrian Marines will be making their way through. Thorax Swordsman on one side, going to try and hold. Going to try and hold, but here comes the Elephants again. Are they going to just brush into these Thor... Oh, yeah. Smashed. Oh, God. Smashed right into that unit, and there they go. So this... Yeah, the harbor is pretty much open for Seleucid and RDI. Back over on the other side, though, I don't think the attacking Egypt is having as much luck. No, not really. Galatian Royal Guard, both of these units on their way out the door. We actually have some Nubian bowmen climbing up onto the walls, getting into battle with some of these hoplites. I don't really think that's going to go very well for the Nubian bowmen. Maybe it will. I mean, they have 66 guys. The hoplites only have 45. It says currently the melee is even. Oh, no. Never mind. They're losing. First and every veteran hoplites have now moved over here in front of the gate. So this Egypt army... Mm, I'd bring the cavalry back around and try and help on the other side. There's really no point, unless he still has artillery ammo. Doesn't look like he does. Nothing is loaded there in the chocks. So yeah, this Egyptian cavalry, instead of just sitting here, I'd, I'd worm them back around to the other side. I mean, he's got his general over here. So probably not a bad idea to try and come over here and just continue helping. Not that Seleucid and, and uh, RDI are needed to help so far. 22 minutes left in the battle replay, guys. Hope you're enjoying so far. If you are, please make sure to hit that like button. That will help out tremendously. Drop a comment down there below. Let me know what you guys thought of this fantastic port assault so far. A lot of action. A lot of action. General dying within the first four or five minutes of the battle. Just, wow. I mean, sally out. The the, the vanguard deployment here from, from Sicily. A lot of interesting stuff so far. And yeah, the Egyptian cavalry are going to make their way over here. Not a bad idea. But yeah, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Feel free to drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. Getting closer and closer to 3,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing to me. Still still just flying around in my mind on that one. And also, guys, feel free to share the uh, videos around. That would definitely help me out as well. And I would deeply appreciate it. The Desert Legionnaires here, surrounded by some Royal Peltas and the Unit of Thorax Swordsmen. They will be seeing the end of their days very soon here. Royal Peltas is keeping up to 140. Thorax Swordsman here at 71 kills. But remember, Seleucid did lose his general. So remember that. Definitely need to remember that. These elephants need to stop moving. Because I think they actually just stomped on some of these guys. I don't know if they actually can kill them when they're not berserking. But that unit was just starting to waver for no reason at all. Because there's no enemies over here still. So they just started wavering. No idea. But, alright, looks like the uh, Ballista crew is going to be making their way down over here as well. So, yes, this front has been completely held by the defenders. Fantastic job over here. You can see all of these towers. Pretty damaged. 58, 37, 54. Not too bad. But now, the defenders are going to have to focus their attention down over here on this side. And, oh no, what is this? 
unit of Royal Peltas about to be charged in on by a unit of Desert Legionnaires and the Peltas didn't even move. Hopefully this Seleucid player is still here. Oh yeah, there they go. They're getting into fight. Good. Royal Peltas should beat the Desert Legionnaires. Should. Oh, shouldn't have a problem beating them. 62, 36, 49, 80 against 50, 35, 50, and 80. So armor is the same. Melee defense is actually a little bit in favor of the uh, Desert Legionnaires, but that attack power, melee attack is definitely in favor of the Royal Peltast. Yet another unit of Royal Peltast making their way up. Skirmishers are going to run for the hills. Not a bad idea. Elephants are still moving around. RDI has control over here. Now, don't forget, guys. Don't forget about this Pace Lancer unit. I haven't seen this replay, so I don't know, but... I, I have confidence in the defenders that these Apeus Lancers are going to get a ton of kills. ton of kills. Did he fire at all? He did. 15 shots. Is he out of ammo? Mm, maybe. Probably. He probably is. That would be huge. If he still had this, he could turn it around start firing into the settlement. Get rid of more of these Syrian archers there. But, yeah, battle is going on over here. We actually have the Egyptian cavalry who have made their way all the way around the settlement. They are going to charge in onto this unit of Desert Legionnaires. Big crash. Oh, hammered shot. Ptolemy Cav General, the other unit of Egyptian cavalry as well. So this legionary unit is having their hands completely full of cavalry spears. Oh no, the elephants too? No way. This elephant wants blood. Blood for their general being dead. And here they come. They're going to just come right on through. 418 kills, stomping some more desert legionnaires. Oh, actually, they didn't kill anything. Oh, wow. Whoa, 418 to 427. That was crazy. Where are you going, buddy? Turn on back around. Big turn. Big U-turn. Got some Royal Peltas coming up. Finally, that fire, that last unit of Desert Legionnaires are starting to waver, so they should be gone. The attackers will have control of this gate. Not that it really matters very much now. But here we go. So we have some Illyrian Marines making their way up. What will be defending against them? Some Thorax Swordsmen here. We have some more thorax and another unit of thorax there. Oh. And here comes the javelins from these two units of Illyrian Marines. Let's just pull back a little bit so you guys can see. Only killed one on that volley, but they probably have more. Let's see, only one. Yeah, they have it. They have it. They have at least another four volleys, I think. I think Illyrian Marines have five volleys of javelins. Doesn't look like they're going to be used right now, though. But Seleucid and Egypt over here pressing up. They've got a pretty good standpoint here. These two units of Syrian archers could start volleying over, getting into these Cretans. Actually, the Cretans already have 154 kills, so no point in firing at them, boys. No point in firing. you got to scroll in and look to see if they have their daggers out, which they definitely do. So he could actually be firing into the back of this Thorax Swordsman unit there. Or... You know, if he's ballsy enough, he could send the elephants down. He could just bring the elephants straight down over here and just start smashing through all of this stuff. That would probably be uh, huge for, for the attackers again. 16 minutes, 32 seconds left. Wow, this replay has kind of moved fast. It was about a 45-minute battle replay, if I recall, and it has moved pretty quickly. Looks like we do have, yeah, the Syrian archers are going to start volleying up over. What are they firing at? Pikemen making their way over here. Ooh, that's actually a fantastic target. These two Syrians, hopefully, as yes, they are, they are firing at these pikes as they're trying to run along. Do have their shields up over their head. Their armor is 65, so it's pretty good armor. It looks like they're going to post up there. Mm, I don't know. I think that might be giving these Syrians a bit of their back or a little bit better of a flank shot on them. Egypt is charging all three of his units up, though. His final three units, the attacking Egypt, I should say. And do we have a game being played here? We do not actually know. No, they are moving. Here we go. Okay. So this unit of heavy skirmishers has basically just been a bait. Legionnaires, I'm oh, sorry, cohort coming over here trying to catch in. But no, nope, they're going to get away. Cavalry there for the attacking Egypt has pulled away. They're going to start neutralizing this capture point. Actually, they just finished neutralizing it. Cecily, unfortunately, is going to have to pull back. Let's get back over down over here, see how this is going. Lyrian Marines not looking very good, at least this front unit. 
pretty much getting chewed up there, but we do have these Thorax Swordsmen up there firing their javelins down as well. Just firing straight down into these Illyrian Marines there. Not a bad job. Not a bad job at all. Um, more Illyrian Marines, right? Like this unit right here, if they still had javelins, I don't know if you, I don't think actually you can come up here. Maybe you can. Maybe you can come up there. I don't know. I know, well, you can come around this way, obviously. It'd be good for the attacker side, at least. If you could come up this way, to be able to get some good volleys in onto those Thorax Swordsmen. But, nonetheless, Egypt still moving his cavalry around. Did those Hippias Lancers move? They have not. They're still sitting over there. Another unit of Thorax Swordsmen actually making their way forward. Maybe going to try and cut RDI off on the side. That could be huge. That could be huge. We'll have to see how that plays out. But back over here in the center, we have some pikemen who have moved in. Oh wait, cavalry swinging around. I just want to make sure I'm seeing as much of this stuff as I can for you guys. I don't like missing stuff. But yeah, okay, so Seleucid has brought up one unit of his pikemen. Hopefully they start moving in, getting into these thorax swordsmen, start stabbing them down. This is a pretty beaten up, well, most almost about 40 men. They have 91 kills though, wow. Pikemen start moving in, dude. Start trying to break through. 13, 14 minutes. Oh, archers. Oh, they're out of ammo. Never mind. Cretan archers have been sent out to try and delay the royal peltas there. We have some Syrian archers right there. They... Mm, oh, I don't know. They have two... Oh. This. Okay. Come over here. Fire that way. Nope, they're going to pull back. Okay, Seleucid's going to pull back. I mean, he can still... He could still easily volley up over the top of these buildings and actually have this unit start volleying behind them. Definitely would break those pikes pretty easily. So far, they've only lost one man, though. We have some more ranged fire now. A couple more units of archers. And it looks like the, the skirmishers can't reach that far. These two units of archers there are going to start volleying up and over. Probably going to start digging into these pikes, which they are. Already killed nine of them. Are they in combat? Oh, okay, they are. They have pressed in. That's good. That is good to see at least, but yes, yeah, Seleucid still moving forward. He's got a unit of Royal Peltas coming up. He probably sees that. He should see that pikeman unit there. He definitely should see those pikes. Elephant's over here. General is dead. We know that. Oh, the rest of the elephant unit's stuck over there. That's why these guys are just kind of running around. Ptolemaic Cav General for the attacking Egypt making his way forward. Do also have these two units there. Good job by the defenders so far. They have a lot of this blocked off. Uh, but unfortunately, what are the pikes doing? Oh no! Pikes missed out on a pretty big opportunity there for those Royal Peltas. Pretty big opportunity. Peltas now taking on some Desert Legionnaires. Uh, these pikes, get them out of pike formation, have them charge in, because these archers are firing at your stuff back here. They're firing at your archers, they're firing at your skirmishers, your ally skirmishers at least. Definitely should try and... Uh, Stop them from firing. I, I, I would say stop firing. But here we go. RDI has again broken through. Second, yo, pikes are coming down again. I don't think they're going to be able to form up in time, though. They're going to just stop them at the top of the stairs. Oh, no, don't move them now. They're going to be totally out of position. Oh, no. Lost four men, and look at how far out of formation they are. And these Marines can just turn back around. They're pretty beaten up already, but they can just turn around and start getting into the backs of these pikes as well. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. And now, wait. Let's fire. Oh, these Syrian archers up here. They did still have ammo. And they're going to start volleying down into these pikes as well. Down to 96 men, 12 kills. Still completely out of position. And, I, I mean, he could try and pull them back to reform. But I think he would end up losing more men. That is pretty rough. This is another reason why I'm not a huge fan of using pikes. Oh wait, do they still... He's still got slingers back here, RDI. Pace Lancer hasn't moved yet. Pace Lancer hasn't moved. Back over here. The elephant's actually back in again. 593 kills. They are exhausted and they are stomping. Ten elephants still left in the crew. The elephant's actually... Oh no. Probably should have tried to reform them because the rest of the elephants are back over there. 
but we are getting a lot of kills like I said the Syrian archer, uh, armored elephants up to 598 kills stomping down on some desert legionnaires and Numidian noble infantry the general takes some losses yes he did he took a decent amount of losses 31 men to be exact there this unit here up to 49 men down desert legionnaires are going to continue to lose men here Royal Peltas are definitely helping out. And the Pikes have finally... Okay, the Pikes have moved out, but again, they are not in formation. They're not in a very good formation because these guys... Yeah, they'll be able to start attacking them on the side, so the Pikes won't really matter. And actually, we're getting another unit of Royal Peltas around through the gap. Uh, I would have brought them all the way around and just charged into the back of them. Got the whole unit around, formed them up, and charged. But the uh, Numidian Noble Infantry has finished off at least the elephants that were over here but we still do have these elephants here there's still three more of them 599 kills they're still here they can still be used wow this is this is tough i don't know who's gonna win i mean it's definitely in favor of the attackers being that they are the yellow dots on the map so i'm assuming that they are the yellow bar on the balance of power uh, but i mean the defenders still have a decent amount of infantry back here they have some pikemen all of these archers have full ammo, pretty much. Seven, four, zero, five. So yeah, they still have a decent amount of infantry back here. Hippias lancers making their way. Oh god! And this thorax swordsman unit actually moved all the way up. Let's see what they're at. They lost thirty men. But let's see what these Hippias lancers try and do. Again, just want to make sure I'm seeing everything that I can. RDI starting to lose there in the center. Pikemen now for Seleucid starting to waver. Here comes the, the Egyptian infant, uh, Egyptian cavalry, sorry. They're going to come charging down. Nope, they're going to turn back up. Pace Lancers are going to start making their way around this way. And they should be able to get into the backs of these slingers. They should be able to get into the backs of these slingers. Unless they form them up and get the slingers in there. Oh no, Egypt is running his cavalry down through. Getting into the backs of the defenders. Hitting some more of these Desert Cohort. This unit of Desert Cohort as well. Yeah, okay. So RDI did do the smart thing. He got his two units of Slingers that he brought into the settlement at least. He got them behind some of his Illyrian Marines. Yeah, these guys, I mean, they still have a decent amount of 35 and 59. They should still have a lot of ammo left. So I'm not sure exactly why he left them on the boats. Cecily still has a decent amount. He's got some Desert Legionnaires. I think his cohorts, the last cohort units he had, are up here. They are starting to break some more of the Illyrian Marines, though. So RDI is starting to get chopped down a bit. Actually, this Thorax Swordsman unit has now charged in on the rear of this Illyrian Marine unit as well. How many kills do they have? 16? They should still have javelins. Yeah, RDI now making his way up here. Elephant's still there. Still there, not being used. I wonder if Seleucid... No, he still has archers. So, yeah, Seleucid should still be here. All right, 32, 50. Yeah, he still has some ammo. This unit only has 10 kills. I don't know why they're moving up so far. Don't exactly know where they're going. It's only 31 of them, though. 6 minutes, 42 seconds, guys. I still don't know what's going to happen here. I really don't. I mean, like I said, the defenders still have a decent amount of infantry. Some more veteran hoplites making their way forward. Looks like this desert cohort is now starting to win this fight against these royal peltes with some archer help. Here comes the Egyptian cavalry again. Going to charge down the stairs. Pretty much go right around and into some veteran hoplites. Oh, yep, no, yep, no. Oh, that Egyptian cavalry is more than likely going to die. Are they going to get away? Wow, they really... No, they're wavering. They might actually still get away, though. There's 20 of them left. Here we have volleying. What is volleying that far? Is that... Oh, it's this. Unisyrian archers volleying up over into some of the archers here for Athens. Still being held pretty, pretty okay. I mean, the hoplites coming down here. Another unit of thorax swords are making their way down. They should be able to hold this off. Pace Lancers just looks like they made a flyby. They're coming around. Zero kills, still 60 to 60. Very heavy shot cavalry. Again, like I said, they do have a very low melee defense, though. It's only 15. So, shot cavalry, if you guys don't know, newer players or kind of newer players, if you don't know shot cavalry, 
heavy shock cavalry, very heavy shock cavalry, super heavy shock cavalry, whatever it is. Charge them in, bring them out. Charge them in, bring them out. Hammer and anvil, everything. Uh, don't leave them in melee combat. Well, not everything. Don't charge pikes. Don't charge pikes. Don't do that. That would be a bad idea. Don't, don't really charge spears that are in hoplite wall. You get what I'm saying, though. When you do see an opportunity, when you see something to charge, make sure you cycle charge. Make sure you hammer and anvil them. Don't just leave them in melee combat because they will lose. They will absolutely lose. As you saw, the Seleucid General die over there to two units of light horse. Light horse killed a super heavy cataphract general. Amazing. But this does look like it's going to continue to be held. Here comes the Pace Lancer again. He's taking some shots from the arrow towers here, so probably not a bad idea to try and get them around, get them away. Slorak Swordsman unit here. Valyrian Marines. They still... Actually, the general's right there as well. Okay. Yeah, Pace Lancer's still getting shot. Might, might want to get them out of there. Might want to get them out of there. Ptolemy Cav, Egyptian Jam. Uh, actually, this Pace Lancer might not be a bad idea to bring them up around over here. I mean, there's only three elephants, but he should be able to get away from the elephants. And it looks like the elephants are actually caught up. Like they're lagged out or something. I don't know. Guy who was controlling Seleucid, if you do end up watching this replay, let me know. Did this unit of elephants lag out or, or you know, glitch out over there? But, all right, three minutes, 52 seconds left. Uh, let's focus up over here. Let's kind of get a, a little bit of an over-the-shoulder view on this bit of battle here. I'm sure these are all the Marines. Yeah. Illyrian Marines here taking on some mercenary, mercenary veteran hoplites, which are actually really good. Look at that, 199, almost 200 kills. Crazy. Desert Cohort here with 96. We do have another unit there of picked hoplites, 210 kills. Three minutes and 10 seconds left. Oh, 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 actually, good job. Illyrian Marines getting rid of this Thorax Swordsman unit. That's good. Really, really wishing these 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 Apeus Lancers were, were, were doing something. There's got to be something he can do with them. There has to be an area for him to use them at. Ptolemaic Cav Gen pulling away. Egyptian Cavalry pulling away again. Yeah, see, this would be... That would have been a perfect time for him to come up over here and at least get rid of this unit. They still have 50, only 55 kills. They should still have a bit of ammo. This unit there still has a decent amount of ammo as well. It does not look like the attackers are going to be able to make their way through, but, it, I mean, anything can happen. If those elephants aren't... Are they moving? Nope, but they're all over there now, so that tells me that maybe they are not glitched out. They are backed up. They are grouped up back again together, so maybe not. Mm, these Syrian archers, instead of firing here, they, I think it would be more beneficial for them if they moved up and fired down here. Because they'd have a lot better... They'd have a clear shot, pretty much. They would have a pretty much clear shot on these hoplites and uh, cohort there. But RDI still, javelins, firing more javelins up. Apeus Lancer's just kind of hanging around again. Minute 49 left in the battle replay here, guys. And there they go. Okay. Syrian archers now starting to fire down here. Hopefully they will be able to break through. Cohort are starting to drop. There is a bit of a gap here, so they could send units through. There is, now that that second unit, the Slave Slingers have moved in, there is a gap. You could thin a line up and try and get them around. Maybe try and get a rear charge in onto these fighter and hoplites there. Again, though, RDI, I don't know why he left these two units of Slingers out here. I mean, 59, 35, but they're still full units. So that's another 120 men he could have used for something. I don't know, I'm the, I'm the type of person that will, uh... Wait a second, where did... Did Egypt ride away? can't see his general anymore or the other unit of Egyptian cavalry that was there they I guess they left <laughs> I guess they left 50 seconds left in the battle replay obviously this is going to be an attackers victory oh did they charge over here oh they did charge over here okay I thought they ran away but yeah look at that starting to have a bit of a mass route so Lucid obviously is going to be the one that goes because the RDI general is still here yeah there he is here comes the Hippias Lancers. Come on, you got 28 seconds. Just charge. Just charge, man. 
get something don't waste don't hopefully you didn't use all that money on this unit and get nothing out of it just charge in come on 14 seconds go go for it there you go big charge hammer charge fantastic let's see what they get 60 look at that 61 kills on one charge hammered wow good replay good fun fun good replay all right let's take a look here actually uh laminated salmon who controlled mistakes he's actually the guy that sent the replay in so dude thank you very much that was actually port assault generals dying cavalry all over the place vanguard deployments artillery kills that was that was a crazy battle thank you so much for sending that in man i uh look forward to hopefully you'll send another my another one my way but his noble general there 48 kills the other unit with 98 his skirmishers not a whole lot of kills not a whole lot of kills but yeah desert cohort 141 111 184 187 his legionnaires 109 116 101 113 and i mean his numidian riders one unit there 169 kills but these guys did a lot of damage on archers so even though it's only 71 and 41 that's still 71 and 41 less archers so good job there by laminated salmon let's take a look at his ally egypt civ dallas he his general nine kills two units yeah we saw them die uh two units of light cavalry here nine and 19 but they are the ones that killed the seleucid general so good on them at least syrian archers 115 uh 155 sorry Pikeman 114, 82. Thorax Swordsman 114, 87, 117. Not a whole lot of kills on them, but kills nonetheless. And then we will get into Athens here. Hippias Lancers, General, right there at the end. 68 kills on one charge. Fantastic job. Uh, his archers, not a whole lot of kills either. But, I mean, everything everything adds up. 71 for pick top lights. This unit here with 152, 221. Pikes weren't even used. Getting into his hop lights, 116, 98. 112 and his two units of the mercenary veteran hoplites 236 and 144 great job there by the defenders getting into the attacking egypt his general 101 kills his other two units of egyptian cavalry not a whole lot but they did they were useful in the start trying to hold off the Sicilian cavalry there his greek ballista 87 kills his archers not a whole lot of kills because uh, i think they took a lot of damage at the start Egyptian pikemen, not a whole lot. Galatian Royal Guard, 169, 121, 114, 224. I mean, he did attack, actually. I'm going to give Egypt, I'm going to kind of be a little bit nicer to the attacking Egypt. He did attack on the settlement by on the side of the settlement by himself. So, not really something that's recommended to do. But still, he ended up with 1,341 kills, so not bad. Uh, then we have Rogue Centurion here with Seleucid. His general, 79 kills. Elephants coming in strong, 599 kills. Great job there. Syrian archers, again, not a whole lot of kills. Pikes, not really a lot. Royal Peltas, 109, 247, 182. Thorax Swordsman, 108, 131. Not a bad, not a bad. And then finally, we have Chigger here with RDI, who, again, I still don't know why he left those slingers on the boats. I mean, they probably still had ammo left. They might have come in handy. But anyway, his general, 73 kills. His Onager actually got 20 kills. Rest of his Lyrian Marines, we got one there with 108, 87, 89, 78. So not a whole lot of kills, actually. He only, did, unfortunately, only ended up with 993 kills. So, but anyway, guys, end of the battle here. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. Make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment. Share the video around. Continue subscribing to the channel. Have a great day. Stay safe. Till the next one.